Hey guys, Chris here from Project Nerf, and today we're going to talk about a very cool new product that I picked up from My3D Base over in Germany. Let's take a look. Alright, uh, I actually talked about this out loud when I did my review of the My3D Base Goblin and Pathfinder. Uh, I'm talking about the ability to holster uh, this blaster and you carry it as a sidearm slash uh, backup primary uh, because either one of them, the Goblin or the Pathfinder, are good enough to be a primary in their own right. But to be able to carry it as a sidearm as well, one of the things about holstering it is they're only town compatible. So if you tried to holster this, you'd have this huge magazine sticking off your leg. You'd be banging into stuff and things like that. So. I talked about someone doing a shorter magazine, and hence my 3D base. Somebody must be listening because they created these mini talons, which are just perfect for the application. Okay, they hold six rounds, uh, which is respectable for a sidearm blaster. But with either the Goblin or the Pathfinder, uh, with this type of short mag, being able to holster it and carry it as a sidearm, you can always tote an extra talon mag somewhere in your gear, a full talon mag, if you had to put it into a primary capacity. Um, but being able to carry it in a holster is a big, big deal. So I'm going to move the camera around a bit so I can stand up and show you what I've got going on here, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll test these things out. All right. Uh, hopefully you can see it here. I've made myself a holster. Uh, very, very budget-friendly uh, kind. This one's cardboard and duct tape. Uh, but if you haven't seen my DIY holster video. I'll put the link to that uh, up here in the corner somewhere. Click that, check that out, because I always prototype in cardboard. Uh, it allows me to see how the pieces need to bend and everything like that to make holsters for these uh, custom blasters here. So, uh, I have the Pathfinder in the holster currently. Uh, it will also uh, fit the Goblin, uh, so, which is super cool. So, I can have the semi-auto Goblin as a sidearm or the Full Auto Pathfinder. And the reason I've got the Pathfinder loaded up here, got a battery in it, we're going to give it a go here in a second, is uh, think loadout uh, and situational here. If I'm going to carry, say, my Sika as my primary uh, running Talon mags, then obviously I want my sidearm to fire short darts as well. So having this short six dart magazine allows me to comfortably holster the blaster. You can see it's, uh, it's fit pretty well here, at least hopefully you can see it. And it's not that I would carry a great deal of these magazines on. Maybe, maybe one extra one, because you can easily just slip it in a pocket like that or something uh, to that effect. But uh, the Pathfinder, being full auto, if I get in trouble with my Springer, I can whip it out. Here we are at the ready with six rounds full auto. Slap the full-size Talon mag in. And take care of the herd. So... Uh, that is a really, really nice, really, really nice asset to this short dart magazine is allowing you to holster that much firepower. Um, and again, if you've got a goblin, uh, the semi-auto, that's great. You can spray and pray with that in a pretty big hurry, too. So uh, anyway, I'm going to uh, adjust the camera around a little bit, and we'll talk about that just a little bit more. All right, guys. Yeah, this is a super cool product. Now, I do have a couple of things to say about it. I noticed it's a little bit loose uh, in the magwells. Uh, it will actually kind of gravity drop uh, out. So you can see right here, I just put a little piece of electrical tape on either side of it, uh, making sure to stay clear of the little follower. And, uh, it, and it works great. There's no, no problems whatsoever. No problems with it dropping or, you know, uh, anything like that. Uh, it, the print quality, as with everything from my 3D base, is super, super cool. And I bought four of these. Um, two for my Pathfinder and two for the Goblin. One for in the blaster, maybe another one in the pocket, just for the quick reload if I'm going to reholster. And then, again, the ability to holster so much firepower from one of their blasters uh, in a convenient package without having a big Talon mag sticking off the back of you, banging into stuff and things like that, is... Uh, is awesome. 
And uh, I don't know if Chris had seen my previous review and said, oh, shoot, I can make those or whatever, but I did talk about it in my previous review when I did the blasters and how great it would be to have such a short magazine. So, Chris, thanks so much for uh, designing these and printing them and uh, making them available for us because I think we're going to find that the Goblin and the Pathfinder are going to become very, very serious sidearms slash pseudo primaries here in the very near future. Guys, I'll put all of Chris's information for my 3D base uh, in the description box. Definitely go check them out. They've got some cool, cool stuff. Great, great people to work with. Definitely go check them out. If you haven't done it yet, hit that subscribe button. Definitely smash the notification button as we got a couple of more great build guides coming up. Another giveaway coming up here in the new near future. And you don't want to miss out. Uh, throw us a like. Throw us a uh, comment, please, by all means. Uh, again, fan mail address will be in the description below if you'd like to correspond by mail. Guys, till next time, this is Chris for Project Nerf saying have a blast.